YouTube. What is good? Welcome back to another video. We are here. We got another build today. Of course, going through another Protoon build. Um, there are some really fire builds in here, bro. Like, honestly, I say this a lot, but if you can't make a build or you don't like making builds, bro, you can come in here and get pretty much anything you want. You can get an all around build. You can get a lockdown. You can get a score, like pure score. You can get a slasher, a shooter. You can get a big man. You can get a, a stretch five, a stretch four. You can literally get any type of build in the Protoon Builder. But hit that like button, man. Subscribe if you are new and turn on post notes. You know, we, I, don't, I don't know why I have to tell y'all. Like, I told y'all if you didn't hit the like button, I was gonna talk bad about y'all mamas. And I've been trying not to. Like, I'm really trying not to. But anyways, man. Let's get right into the video. So today we got a guard build, best skill defense, archetype, pesky defender. So this build is inspired by Drew Holiday. And I think this is a really, really good build, like a really good comp lockdown guard build, which is different than what you normally see. But description, we got sensational on ball defender, pest, quick feet and built for contact, well-rounded offensive game. So not too much, you know, can score a little bit. Definitely play defense, definitely box up some people. Stature, we got height, 6'2", weight, 218, wingspan, 6'9". So the build is really tall, or not really tall, has a really long wingspan, it's pretty heavy, but it's shorter on the shorter side. So this is that build that's gonna box up all them little small guards, bro. If you're not wanting to put a, a big lockdown on a small guard, you want a build that can like, really play around everywhere, can switch, you know, play the one, the two, and the three. This is the perfect build, and I think that's a perfect example of Drew Holiday. Um, he can really play one through three, maybe one through four. Um, not too much to five just because he's shorter. They should have made him taller. He's not really 6'2", he's taller than that, but he's, he's able to defend a lot of positions. One of the best guard defenders in the league, probably the best. But let's go ahead and get into the attributes. You guys know I like to do go over the heavily weighted stuff. So up first, we got 72 close shot. That's cool, I'm not too mad at that. We got 75 driving layup. Mm, I'm not too mad at that either. I think that could definitely be a little bit higher though. Um, I would like driving layup to be a little bit higher, but we get 87 driving dunk, which in my opinion is crazy. That is crazy for a Drew Holiday build. 87, that gets contact dunks and everything. I would much rather him have higher driving layup than a driving dunk and kind of like split between the both, but that's okay because it's just gonna make the build better. But then we're gonna get into the shooting. You get a 77 mid range. I would like that to be a tad bit higher, but it's not bad at all because you get an 87 three pointer to go with it. And with that 87 three pointer, you're definitely gonna be able to knock the three ball down. You're gonna be able to shoot the ball at a pretty high clip, especially if you're good at the game. Um, you're gonna get limitless. You're gonna get set shot specialist. You're gonna get mini marksman. Like you're gonna get a lot of good badges with this 87 three-pointer 74 free throw so you can knock the free throw down if you're playing three or not threes if you're playing fives you know you go to the line maybe you're playing start five whatever you're playing my career you got the free throw but then we get into the playmaking and you get a 78 pass accuracy which i feel like is more than enough you're going to get some good badges with that also you're going to get silver dimer um i'm pretty sure yeah you get versatile visionary you're going to get some good badges with the 78 pass accuracy but then you're going to have an 86 ball handle, which ain't the best, but that's still pretty good in my opinion. I think 86 is a really good value for ball handle just because on ball strips aren't that bad anymore. Um, and then you're going to get an 86 speed with ball. So you're going to get gold lightning launch. I think that's really good. Um, they did a good job at like making this build well rounded. I like the playmaking on this build. I like that they didn't go too high or too low they went like right in the middle so you get some good badges and your build's a pretty good playmaker but on to the defense you know the meat and potatoes of this build you get a 97 perimeter that is bananas bro 97 perimeter is crazy but on top of that you're gonna get 96 steel like you th that is crazy 96 steel and 97 perimeter you're going to box everything any guard trying to dribble in your face, give me that. I said plucks aren't that good, but they're good enough, especially with the bumps from perimeter defense you're gonna get with this build. Like that's that's just insane, bro. Like 97 perimeter, 96 steel, and then you still got ball handle 
and you can shoot the three and you can dunk this build is wild bro like four six two this build is wild you could definitely run the one you can run the two you can take this build into the 1v1s you can take this build to the 3v3s the twos court fives like you can go everywhere with this build and be a wonderful teammate but you don't got no rebound that, I mean, that, ain't, that ain't too bad that ain't bad you don't got no block you got no rebounding i do wish this had high flying denier i'm not gonna lie drew holiday needs high flying denier but it's okay i understand they were trying to make a really like bumpy perimeter defense type of build i get it but on to the physicals you're gonna get 85 speed 87 agility which you're gonna be fast bro um you're gonna be really fast um 87 agility is more than enough especially with 97 perimeter bro like and then the speed to go with it like that's just crazy but what makes this build even better is you get 82 straight so you're gonna get immovable enforcer like you're gonna be bumping the crap out of these guards bro like it's gonna be ridiculous they're not gonna be able to just run by you you can press them you can do whatever you want screens aren't gonna affect you like the build is just gonna be crazy and not to mention if you make it to where you get cat breakers where you can put those cat breakers it's gonna be wild like you get the plus one put your ball handle to 87 and then put the plus five to ball handle also come on now bro like come on it, this build can be really crazy you can put it on three pointer like you could do a lot of stuff with this build but last but not least you get the 75 vertical so you want to get contact dunks like they they pretty much tried to give this build everything they really did and I like this build a lot. Um, this low-key one of my favorite guard builds out of the Protoon Builder, just because you can do everything, but you can defend at a really high level, like a very, very high level. But while being able to do that, they didn't take away the playmaking or the shooting or the finishing at the rack. Like they let you keep all of that stuff. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the badges. You're not gonna get any legend badges. At Hall of Fame, you're gonna get Challenger. Hall of Fame Glove, Hall of Fame Interceptor, Hall of Fame Off-Ball Pest, Hall of Fame On-Ball Menace, and Hall of Fame Pick Dodger. Bro, that you are literally a defensive menace. Like, you are going to be boxing everything. It's going to be wild, bro. Like, this build is just, it's, it's crazy. But onto the gold badges, you're going to get Gold Aerial Wizard, Gold Lightning Launch, Gold Strong Handle, and Slippery Off-Ball. Like, I tell you all the time, I think gold is the best value for badges, but bro, the badges you get on this build at gold, I feel like are really good. Now they're not like crazy badges, but the four badges you get, I'll say three cause slippery off ball ain't too crazy, but the three other badges are really good badges to have at gold. Like I really believe that 1000%. On to the silver badges, you're gonna get ankle assassin and you only need silver to break ankles. Like you can drop people with silver. You're gonna get break starter. Deadeye, Dimer on silver, Handles for Days on silver, Immovable Enforcer on silver, Mini Marksman on silver, Posterizer. You are going to get Posterizer on silver while being able to box people. Like this build is crazy. You're gonna get Set Shot Specialist, Shifty Shooter, and Unpluckable. Like you can't complain. Like this is, this is everything you would want in a build. This is like the perfect all around build. But at the same time, the like best lockdown build you can get. And then onto the Brawn Badges bronze badges you're gonna get float game layup mix master limitless physical finisher and versatile visionary some really good badges man this build is just it's ridiculous we're gonna hit continue see what other um shades you get you get drew holiday darren fox and walt frazier those are really good shades really good defensive guards guards who can finish guards who can score and box up a defender or box up an offender your archetype a pesky defender you guys let me know how you feel about this build is it good is it trash? What would you do to change it if you were going to change it because you didn't didn't care about the build name? What would you do to change it to make this build any better? I think the build is really good. And that's gonna bring me to my next point. As far as the Drew Holiday build, I'm gonna give this build an A minus just because there are a couple things that could be tweaked to make this more like Drew Holiday. Like he should have more block, he should have less dunk, more layup. That's really all though. Like I honestly could give this build give this build as a drew holiday build at a i think that would be a perfect grade for this build now as far as using this build for gameplay and using it in like a comp setting or being able to use it in the different game modes i give this build an a plus bro this is there ain't 
There are no flaws in this build playing ones, playing twos, playing threes, playing fives, bro. There are no flaws with this build. Like you're going to be able to do everything. You're gonna be able to dribble. You're gonna be able to score. You're gonna be able to shoot, finish. You're gonna be able to box people. Like the build is, it's crazy, bro. But if you guys made it this far, please hit that like button. It goes a long way. Don't make me talk bad about y'all mama, bro. I don't wanna have to talk about your mothers. But hit, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on post notices. You don't wanna miss no uploads, bro. You really don't. But that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.